Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about what are the variables in Azure Data Factory. So before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel that is Geek Coders and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, SQL, Python and so on. So if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get started with the today's video. Let me open my notepad. So here I have written the definition of variables and what are the application, how many types of activities we have, how many types of variables we have it. Okay. So variable provide the functionality to hold the values like any other programming language do. Variables are available inside the pipeline and it can be set from inside the pipeline. We have two activities, set variable and append variable. Two type of variables we have it, that is system design, system variables and second one is user defined. So what the system defined variable is that, you know, which is already present over there, like data factory name, uh, pipeline run ID, pipeline name and so on. And this is means what we define. So let me open a note, uh, let me open a ADF portal and uh, here I click on new pipeline activity, new pipeline and then I will choose I will choose here set variable okay now you can see if I go down I mean if I go back here you can see we have this parameter variable setting and output option so if I click on this variable option you can see we have the name type and default value okay now here I have to pass a name so let's say I pass table and table name and here we have to pass whether it is a string type boolean type or array type so I am choosing here a string type for now and if I go to this set variable then here I have to choose my variable name so that is table name and here I have to pass the val value okay so for now I am passing uh, let's say uh, testing and let me debug it so I am passing here a user user defined variable or user defined value. Okay. Now here the output is testing. What if if I want to use a, a user defined variables? So here you can see we have this so the system design variables. So we, we have the system variables. You can choose any one of it. Okay like uh, right now i'm choosing data factory name and if i click on it and if i debug it then we will have the data factory name that is geek coders in the output okay that is done this is first uh, you know first uh, type now we have something called boolean also right and if i go back here and if i try to run it it will fail because this value is a string type value it will fail definitely it will fail so let me run it and let me show you the result it got failed okay the error is well table variable table name of type boolean cannot be initialized or updated with the value of is type is string so let me go back and let me let me clear content and here i will write one formula that is equals here i am passing a comma a which is true so it will return me either true or false boolean means 0 1 or 2 or false right it will return me true value because our condition is matched like it is correct condition right so if i put it here then it will give me a false answer so if i debug it now then you can say you can see that oh okay it did not we have this false value okay so Till now what we have seen we have seen we have seen uh, type boolean and string we have this array type also and we can define the value here also okay like if i give here one two three four and five and if i try to debug it then you can see then you can see we will have the value i think uh -huh. You can see we have the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, something like that we have, and this is in one array. Okay. Now I will write here append variable. We have this append variable also. What 
so i have to show you the you know the example of it also so let me remove it let me don't remove it what will i do i will use here for each okay for each activity and let me copy it and let me put it over here and and what will i use what, what will i do i will choose i will define one parameter let's say i am defining here a parameter called params and type is array let's say and here i am passing a a comma b comma c and if i open if I uh, click on this for each activity uh, for each setting, here I have to choose my item. So I will choose this param as a parameter. And if I click on this edit button, in this append variable, I have to choose a variable. You can see here, it, it is mentioned that append variables only support adding two array type variables. Okay. Here I will write down for each i data that is items okay and uh, that is done let me go back here let me go back here let me see what is the variable name and the type is okay and let me use one of one more uh, one more variable table underscore name not table underscore name table name underscore one and here what I will do, I will remove this. I will choose table name underscore one and I will choose here my variable. Okay. Now let me debug it. You can see in append variable one, we have a okay here we have b here we have c but in set variable it got failed the reason is table underscore one of type screen cannot be initialized or updated with the type of array okay okay i did a mistake so what i have to do i had to make it array only so i will tell you like there is a way to convert uh, the you know the things so we can use here as a function to convert the things so let it be now if i click on this set variable you can see we have a value of of int of array type okay a comma b comma c okay so this is the way how can we use a variable and we can say like variables i have shown you and uh, then we have an option of parameter also parameters and variables both are similar kind of similar thing there is a minute difference i will tell you in the next video what does i mean what is the difference between these two and uh, i will get a video on top of that so this is a way to use variables and we like we have seen what are the apps append variable activity and set variable activity i hope you have liked the video if you do do subscribe and share to my channel so that everyone will get benefited thank you